judge not, that you be not judged. For with the judgment you pronounce, you will be judged, and with the measure you use, it will be measured to you. Why do you see the speck that is in your brother's eye, but do not notice the log that is in your own eye? A critical eye does not see except defects only. It does not see all the other white spots. Therefore, its judgment is not accurate or fair. It also does not give a correct picture. A critical eye could criticize everyone without exception, and nobody would be safe from it. No matter how a person may be righteous or of a sound opinion, such an eye will find something worth criticism. As the saying goes, he who searches for a defect will find it. The critical eye lacks love and lacks humility. A loving person does not criticize. It says in the Bible, love does not behave rudely, thinks no evil. A loving person conceals others' mistakes and does not defame them. He finds excuses for the defects, and if he fails, he reproaches quietly in an atmosphere of useful advice. As the loving person does not criticize much, so is the humble one. He looks to his personal faults and not to those of others. The Lord gave us an advice that one should look at the plank in his own eye and not at the speck in his brother's eye. The one who has love and humility, if needs to criticize, it has to be a very special case concerning a very serious matter. Criticism is not a permanent and constant attitude in his life and does not become part of his behavior when dealing with others. A critical eye criticizes without gentleness and does not see anything beautiful except itself. It sees the thorns that surround the rose and criticizes that. But during the criticism, ignores the lovely fragrance of the rose. Therefore, the critical eye is not favored by people. Everyone is cautious of it. Everyone says, it might befall me too. Very often the critical eye acts without examination or investigation. Maybe it sees a defect where there is none. As for the just person who does not judge before examining and the kind person who does not criticize everything, knowing that perfection is only for God, such a person would be favored by all. Do you have a critical eye? I hope not. Stay with us and let's look at the following story. A friend sent us this story about a young lady named Sally and her experience in a recent seminary class given by her teacher, Dr. Smith. Dr. Smith was known for his elaborate object lessons. This particular day, Sally walked into the class and knew they were in for a fun day. On the wall was a big target and on the nearby table were many darts. Dr. Smith told the students to draw a picture of someone that they disliked or someone who had made them angry and he would allow them to throw darts at that person's picture. Sally's friend drew a picture of a girl who had stolen her boyfriend. Another guy drew a picture of his little brother. Sally drew a picture of a former friend. The class lined up and began throwing darts. Some of the students were throwing their darts with such a force that their targets were ripping apart and everyone was laughing hysterically. Finally, Dr. Smith asked all the students to be seated. He came to the front of the class with a less than amused look on his face. As he began removing the targets from the wall, there appeared underneath a picture of Jesus. A hush fell over the room as each student viewed the mangled picture. 
holes and jagged marks over Jesus' face and his eyes were pierced. Dr. Smith said only these words, in as much as you have done it unto the least of these, my brothers, you have done it unto me. What a powerful analogy. Phew. When we throw darts at our brothers and sisters, friends and even strangers, we are actually piercing our Lord too. Let's get right with the Lord and others. It's a good season for reconciliation. Let us pray together. My Lord Jesus Christ, God of love, I thank you for the people in my life who are easy to love. I thank you for my family and friends who understand my actions, who support me in my decisions and whose presence can lift the burden of a thorny day. Help me with those who are difficult to love when they come at me with criticism and wild expectations, when they ignore me or try to bend me to their will. Let me recognize their flaws and their dangers, but then let me remember your attitude toward them and lead me to see them in the light of your love. Amen.